Yo, what's going on guys, it's Houston Sports Talk back in the video today, and today I'm going to be doing my NFL 2024 playoff predictions. We're going to be going over my predictions for not only the wild card round, but also the divisional and and the championship game rounds uh, with the NFC and AFC championship, and then eventually we will get to the Super Bowl. But let's start off with my wild card predictions. I'm not going to be doing score predictions, I'm just going to be uh, giving my winners for the matchups and how I think it might be a close game or um, one team might dominate. So uh, we're going to start with the AFC with the wild card, starting with the Houston Texans and the Cleveland Browns on Saturday. Not just saying this as a Houston Texans fan, non-biased, but I think the Texans beat the Browns. And I think one of the big reasons why I have the Texans beating the Browns in this matchup, sure, the Browns have one of the best defenses in the NFL, but um, the Houston Texans have the home field advantage in this one. And sure, they lost to the Browns a couple weeks ago, but also without two of their best defenders uh, and linebacker Blake Cashman and defensive end rookie Will Anderson Jr. And also a big part, quarterback C.J. Stroud. So without those three guys and without some others in the matchup against the Cleveland Browns when the Texans lost by 14 going into you know a playoff game, the crowd will be rocking wild card weekend. Texans fans for the last four years it's been bad and they're ready to go support this team and um i think the texans D'Amico ryan's he's going to make some changes going into this matchup on you know with how uh the the defense dealt with dealing with the browns offense with you know how great joe flacco was and dealing with amari cooper so i think that's going to be interesting also the the browns players they've had some time off they didn't, you know, their their main players did not play at all in the matchup against the Cincinnati Bengals, so they've had a week off to rest. And sometimes you see that as an advantage for for some teams and and some players, but sometimes it hurts. You know, it sometimes it will hurt you because you might be a little bit rusty. But I just, I see the Texans winning this one. I see C.J. Stroud um, having a great game, and same thing goes for Nico Collins. Especially, you're gonna have to. It's gonna you're gonna have to. It's gonna have to be a hard fought win for the Houston Texans because you're dealing with such a good defense. But I think it's a really close one in the end. Definitely could see the Browns winning it, and that definitely might be the outcome. But I think the Houston Texans at home with having C.J. Stroud back and even Blake Cashman and um, Will Anderson Jr. back defensively for the Texans, I see the Texans beating the Browns. Then getting into the other AFC matchup, uh, or the other two AFC matchups in um, the wild card, I have the Buffalo Bills beating the Pittsburgh Steelers in the wild card this one especially now that tj watt is officially out against the buffalo bills i mean i think there's i don't see the steelers beating the 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 bills it would it would shock me um i we don't even know who's starting quarterback i think mason rudolph will be starting but definitely kenny pickett go out there i think it's starter will be mason rudolph um and i got the bills winning against the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Kansas City Chiefs and the Miami Dolphins, which is Saturday night on the NBC. I want to say the Dolphins and Tua and Tyreek Hill returning to Kansas City go out there and get an upset in Kansas City, but that's a hard place to play in, you know, any time in the regular season. But the playoffs, it's even different. So even Mahomes has struggled this season. The wide receiver core has struggled this season, but I see the Chiefs defense in this one being the real reliable source for this Kansas City Chiefs team and Mahomes and Travis Kelsey being able to make plays in offense to get them a win. And then and, and just like we saw in Germany, the Kansas City Chiefs won in a low scoring game, not a lot of offense involved. I think that will be the case in this one. I don't know how many points are scored, but I think it's a low scoring one. I mean not really low scoring, but um I don't think you're gonna see a high scoring, very, very high scoring game in this one. Um maybe I'm, I don't. I don't think there will be over forty points scored in this game. Both teams combined. Uh, so that's it for the AFC Wild Card. Let's go over the NFC Wild Card real quick. Starting off with the Dallas Cowboys and the Green Bay Packers, which is Sunday afternoon at three thirty. I even though the Packers have had their way against the Cowboys, the Cowboys defense is elite, and it would surprise me if the Packers go in go into Dallas and upset the Cowboys. But they've had their way against them in the past, and you know, maybe it happens, but I think the, I think the Cowboys beat the Packers in this one. So uh, the Cowboys beating the Packers, and then uh, for your other matchup, Matthew Stafford 
you just like the it's both six three matchups are a player returning to their former team, Kansas City and Miami. You the six three matchup in the AFC. You have Tyreek Hill and the Miami Dolphins going back to Kansas City, and then the six three matchup in the NFC. Matthew Stafford uh, going back to Detroit. I see an upset here. I think the Rams upset. The Lions, the, the way the Rams played to finish the season, their offense has been elite. Kyron Williams has been unstoppable, and Stafford has looked good all season. I think the Rams are going to win this one and go into Detroit and get an upset. So I have the Rams upsetting the Lions. And then the Eagles and the Buccaneers. You know, sure, the Buccaneers are the home team in this one, but yes, and yes, the Eagles struggle to end in the season. But I think the Eagles get their crap together in this one and are able to get a close win against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers uh, on the Monday night football game for the for the uh, wild card. So then moving on to the divisional round, your divisional matches would be the Texans and the Ravens for the AFC, also the Chiefs and the Bills in the AFC, and then um, in the NFC, you would have a uh, Eagles versus Cowboys matchup and then 49ers and Rams matchup. So for divisional in the NFC it would basically be like a rivals week. So uh, Cowboys Eagles, I think it would be another great matchup between these two teams. It was a great matchup when we saw them play in Philadelphia. The Cowboys had the Cowboys had their way when they played in Dallas. This matchup would be in Dallas again. Did the cow can the Cowboys finally find their way to the NFC championship game? I believe they do. If they play Philadelphia, um, I think they can play Philadelphia or Tampa Bay, and I think they're in. Um, I think for for Dallas, the best thing for them to happen is is um, obviously you beat the Packers, and then the Rams beating the Rams beating the Lions. Because if that happens for the Cowboys, if the Rams beat the Lions, then you are facing the winner of the Buccaneers and the Eagles. And I think that's a great matchup for the Dallas Cowboys in the divisional round. And I believe the Cowboys will beat the Philadelphia Eagles uh, at home in the divisional round and then move on to the NFC Championship game for the first time in forever. Then uh, the 49ers and the Rams, uh, I think would be a great game. And Another great matchup against, you know, for the two. They, they just split this season series. The Rams won, even though the 49ers were resting their starters. Uh, the 49ers barely beat them early in the season as well. was a little bit of a close game. I think it would be a close game. I think the Rams try to compete with the 49ers, but I think the 49ers would probably win by double digits and move on to the NFC Championship game to host a game against the Dallas Cowboys. All right, then moving on to the AFC Division round. As a Texans fan, I like to think the Texans can keep this one close, but the Ravens have a dominant defense and have been great against good offenses this season and have played really well this season against uh, offenses that are over 500. And I think it will be a closer game than what you saw when these two teams faced off in week one. If this matchup happens, Ravens won 25 to nine in week one, CJ Stroud's rookie debut, D'Amico Ryan's first game as head coach. So, uh, it doesn't really count, and it's week one. Um, but I think the Ravens win pretty easily. I would like to think by an area of 7 to 10 points. Um, but then the Kansas City Chiefs and the Buffalo Bills, another great matchup between the two. Here's the difference. Last time we saw these two teams face off in the division round, we had that great overtime matchup. The game was in Kansas City. This game would be in Buffalo. Buffalo has the advantage. I think Buffalo beats them just like they did earlier in the season um, and the Buffalo Bills move on to the AFC championship game to face off against Lamar Jackson and the Ravens in Baltimore. So um, in the championship matchups, you have both one and two seeds. It's a one, two, it's a one versus two seed matchup and both conferences, which seems a little cliche, but um, I have the 49ers going going up against the Cowboys, of course, and I think Dak Prescott goes into San Francisco, and I totally wouldn't be surprised if he just completely plays terrible and, and the Cowboys get crushed, but I think Dak Prescott goes back into the place where he had his worst moment earlier in the season, and even going back to the division round in 2022, the 2022 season, and Dak has a great game, 
And in a shootout, the Dallas Cowboys beat the 49ers. But most likely the 49ers probably win that matchup. But I, I have this weird feeling that the Cowboys are going to beat the 49ers and shock a lot of people and go back to the Super Bowl where they haven't been in, what, 30 years. But then wait for the AFC side of it. I think there's two quarterbacks who have had their chances to make it to the Super Bowl in the past. And both, I think, are very deserving to make it to the Super Bowl and win a Super Bowl. But which quarterback will that be? Will that be Josh Allen or will it be Lamar Jackson? I think it's going to be uh, the guy that's been a better quarterback this season, but it's a, but also a guy who has a better defense behind him. And I think that's Lamar Jackson and the Baltimore Ravens. Um, I think it would be a really close game, maybe even a little bit low scoring, but I think the Ravens take down the Buffalo Bills. And then for the Super Bowl, the Ravens and the Dallas Cowboys is my Super Bowl matchup. I've praised the Cowboys this much. I've got them all the way to the Super Bowl. I've got them past the division round. I even got them past their worst nightmare, the Green Bay Packers. Even another worst nightmare, the San Francisco 49ers. Y'all might think I'm crazy. Could I go crazy enough to have the Dallas Cowboys winning the Super Bowl? No, I'm not. I have the Baltimore Ravens winning the Super Bowl against the Dallas Cowboys. I think the Ravens' defense is too tough. They've been great all season. They've been strong. Um... They have been amazing, and Lamar Jackson has been great as well. Um, I, I, something I want to go over is like the last couple weeks of the season against the Dolphins and the 49ers in Week 16 and Week 17. Between the Dolphins and the 49ers, the Ravens only gave up 38 points in those two games. Their defense has been good all season, and uh, I, I just think that the Ravens, in my opinion, are my favorite to win the Super Bowl. I think they take down the Dallas Cowboys. That's the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section, and peace out.